Hey everybody. <clears throat> so I wanted to tell to talk to y'all today about um, one of the really ridiculous adventures that I've had since I've gotten here. Um, as y'all, a lot of y'all know, I really like to go dancing. I just really do. I like to shake my butt and all that jazz. Um, and so we, um, Andy and I decided to go clubbing with some of the people that we've met here. Um, and we said that we would meet at the club, um, because that just seemed logical. It was about, it's about a 25 minute walk away from Andy's apartment, which really isn't all that bad. I mean, it seems kind of long, but it takes me about 25 minutes to get to school. So on a normal basis. So yeah, walking's become a thing. Um, walk a lot now. Um, that's it for another, another story. Um, <clears throat> but we got directions off of online and decided to just follow them and walk to the club. Didn't think it would be that bad. Didn't think it would be that hard. So as we were walking there, we followed the directions to where the railroad was. And the, the directions wanted us to go under the railroad. Um, there was, in fact, a place to go under the railroad, but it was pitch dark and really scary. And we decided that that was probably not the best decision. Kinda didn't want to get shot, so decided to save that for a different evening. Um, and we went around the railroad tracks and, um, kind of got a little lost, but not too bad. And then as we were walking, it started hailing. Yes, I did in fact say hail. Um, I'm just kind of out of the blue. It does that here sometimes. Yeah, it's getting kind of old, but that's okay. Um, eventually the rain slash hail stopped and we were able to keep going. Um, and we finally found the bridge that we needed to get to, to cross the cross the river because it's just the thing you needed to do um and we made it to the bridge and it was blocked off with police tape accompanied with a cop car with like four cops in it so yeah um didn't really have a way to get across they would kind of yell at people if they tried to like cross the tape and all that jazz um, found out later it's kind of not that great of a part of Rome, so I'm just going to assume that there was a dead body. I just think it's the most interesting, interesting solution to that problem. Um, well, I hope it's not a dead body, because I mean, dead bodies piling up are generally not a good thing. Um, I'm just going to assume that that's what it was. Um, as we were turning around to leave, because we really didn't know, have it another way to go, um, cause that's the only real bridge to get across the river to that area. Um, we ran into one of our other friends who was actually planning on going to the same club. Um, and he was planning on going the same direction and yeah. And so he decided he would try to talk to the cops pretty much just got told to turn around and leave. We tried to ask them what was wrong. Didn't respond. Not high hopes for that not being a dead body. Still don't know. So we did, in fact, decide to leave. Um, and we were going to try to take a cab and just hail a cab and get there that way. Um, turned out it wasn't that easy. Getting a cab here is kind of questionable at times. It's just it's a difficult process. So we ended up trekking all over creation, and finally, after just a ridiculous amount of time, um, we finally made it to the club. Very exciting. Um, wasn't that expensive to get in, so yay. Um, and we had a pretty good time. Um, did some dancing and all that jazz. The music was a tad loud. Um, yeah. I mean, I like a good bass and all that, but... Eh. Um, and then, um, at some really, really just terrible time, we finally decided to, um, to leave some really odd hours of the morning. And, um, 
we were going to take a cab, um, because we, we just knew that, that was going to be the easiest way to, in fact, get back to our neighborhood, because it's, it is a bit of a walk away. And generally, whenever you get out of clubs around here, there are a number of cabs, taxis, just sitting out there, because they know that there's gonna there's people that are gonna need need transportation home. Um, we did not have such luck that night, none at all, not a single cab. Tried to get the bouncer to help me figure out how to call a taxi. That didn't happen. Still didn't work. Um, couldn't get a hold of the taxi service to save my life at all. Um, so we were kind of just stuck in this really random part of town. Like, we knew we could kind of sort of walk back. Didn't really want to walk back. It was kind of cold. Didn't really have much of a jacket on. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't a good, good situation. Um, so we just decided we would walk to, like, one of the main roads in hopes that we would, in fact, be able to find a taxi. Because at that point in time, we were still naive enough to think that taxis existed at that time. So we finally found one of the major bus stops and thought maybe we could just take the bus back. Um, the longer we looked at the bus schedule for the, the night bus, um, the sooner we realized that it did not stop in our neighborhood. And then when a bus actually did stop, it was so packed, no one could get on it. Thinking that we were going to have to just walk back um, at this point, um, I happened to see these two guys standing next to us, um, who I assumed were just Italian to begin with, until I heard them speaking English. I was so excited. Um, I turned to them and was like, you wouldn't happen to know how to call a taxi, would you? On the off chance? Um... They proceeded to inform us that it was essentially impossible to get a taxi at this time of night. And we were kind of screwed. Um, so, yeah, that was exciting. Um, but then we actually started talking to these guys, and it turns out that they're actually really awesome. Um, and one of the guys was from Houston, um, from Sugarland, actually. So, um, so yay, go Texas. Um it's just, it's crazy that's the people that you meet sometimes. It's just such a small world at times. Um, but yeah, and we started talking to them, and apparently he had studied art history and all of this stuff, and um, we actually ended up walking to the Big Pyramid area. None of you will know what the Big Pyramid area is. I'm really not sure what it's called, but yeah, the Big Pyramid, where all the other buses and train station is. Um in hopes that we could catch something there. Um, and we actually ended up just taking um, the bus with them. Um, that was actually the stop at the beginning of the route. Our stop wasn't until the end of the route. It was, it was on the bus for a while. Yeah. But it was cool, because we got to meet some really awesome people. Um, actually, they even work for the Global Soap Project, if any of y'all know that. Um, this is this card. They're really cool. Um, so yeah, they're just really cool people and really glad I got to meet them. Um, just love the small world things that happen sometimes here. Um, so yeah, that was my crazy, ridiculous night. Um, it was just ridiculous. Um, but it was fun and I don't regret it. And hopefully we'll get to meet more really crazy interesting people while we're here um because that's one of the great things about traveling is you never know who you're going to meet who you're going to run into so yeah um i hope y'all are also having a great time um please message me with any fun stories that y'all have of what y'all have been doing because i feel like i'm missing out on a lot of things so yeah um y'all are awesome i love all of y'all um Thanks for watching my really long video. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.